Gloucester Hat Festival, the first one launched today. We're really proud. Over 35 events running at the moment. We've got um, all sorts of things going on with hat workshops. Down on College Green at the Cathedral, we've got free workshops for the children so they can go along, make art and crafts, learn to juggle, learn to do all sorts of things going on there, all about making hats. What a wonderful aspect it is for Gloucester City to have the very first hat festival. We've had a wonderful hat parade in Gloucester City. It's been brilliant. We've had schools from Tewkesbury and from Gloucester who've all come together and made their own hats within um, their schools and then they've come and paraded them in Gloucester City. I think it's hugely important that we do have events in the city that will uh, bring people in, drive that footfall, support the businesses here in what is still a, a tough trading climate, but also to build that civic pride in Gloucester that we all want to see. It's amazing. I mean, I love being in this room and seeing all the different sorts of hats which are being produced here. It, it, it's great, all sorts of different things, even block makers, people who've got vintage hats, people who've got antique shops. Uh, I think it, it's a great thing to do, um, especially on a summer's day, which is not particularly a bright summer's day, but all the hats make everybody seem a bit sunnier. The response to the, the Hat Festival has been very positive, right from the, the people taking part, the sponsors, uh, and people who've come along and supported the events, that the city centre is certainly uh, very busy today and I think that's evidence that, that it's working in that respect. But what I think is a very positive uh, aspect is that I like festivals where you can walk around the street and know that they're going on and we've seen, seen lots of people walking around in some very uh, colourful and distinctive hats so uh, it, if people didn't know before there was a hat festival taking place I'm sure they do now. Well, I always think that um, you know, wearing a hat or thinking about hats is like having a party on your head, and that's what they're doing here now. <laughs>